Welcome to Ruggers, another fantastic weekend of fantastic schoolboy rugby, which means uh, there were some big games and uh, which means the, the rankings have changed again, which it will every weekend as the results come in. Um, there were lots of complaints in the past about Gershontein being unbeaten and not being ranked number one. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Gershontein lost against uh, Monas this past weekend, which means they dipped down um, a couple of places on, this, on the system. And they've actually moved down two places to position number eight. And another interesting, uh, lots of um, criticism that we're getting is from the Bishop supporters saying, uh, Bishops are unbeaten, uh, they've they had a big victory against Strand. 10-7. Uh, yeah, well, close victory against Strand, 10-7. Why are they not ranked number one? But the simple fact is Bishops, which is ranked number nine, is playing against uh, Worst School Strand or High School, uh, Strand High School, which is ranked 86. So, Carl, it just cannot work that way. Yeah, but if you, if you have a look, actually Bishops is lucky to be ranked that high. Because if you look, they beat Danefeld, that's ranked 41. Dros Day, that's ranked 28. St. Andrews, 29. Otaniqua, they did beat, that's ranked number 7. Yeah. Grey High, 17. Maddensburg College, 34. Parktown, Town, I don't know, they're also somewhere in the cities. Yeah. They, they played a, to a draw against Paul Lewis, that's number 5. Sachs, 39. And then, yeah, strength uh, 86. So yeah. if you play that kind of competition, you are lucky to be ranked in the top 10. Yeah, because you're actually going to you're gonna lose points. Yeah, well, they lost one ranking point because they played strength. Which is ranked so low on the ground. And, you know, it's done for a reason, it's calculated for reasons to make it fair. And, and again, the, the bottom line principle is if you want to be ranked in the top 10 or the top 5 in the country, you must play the top 10 or top 5 in the country. As an example, or if you want to be increase your rankings within your bracket, even though you might be 86, it doesn't matter, as long as you beat the schools just above you. Yeah, because yeah. A Strand or Strand earned one lock point because they played a school that was ranked 25 higher. points higher than them, and that's how you that's how you increase or that's how you work yourself up on the rankings. Even that you lose to, to those people, you will earn points because you're playing. Um, a lot of rankings above you. But the interesting thing again, sorry Francois, you um, wanted to say? I also want to add again, it's not just about the position movement, positional movement on the ranking system, it's also about the total points that each school builds as they progress over the... Over yeah, the yeah and, and we must remember rankings or the Ragas ranking is, it's a season's results that count. In the beginning, what happened last year count a lot, but at this stage, it's your it's your results and the opposition you played in the season. So we're not going to say office had a great win against Kes, so this week office must be number one. Next week office lose in Grey College, then they must fall 20 places because Grey Co it doesn't work like that. Mm. The rankings is for the season. So the guys that number ranked number one at the end of the year was the best first 15 for the whole year. Yeah. They, they accumulated the points and everything. But yeah, interesting, again, let's have a look at the, the teams that's improving themselves the most. That We took over the top 200. Number one still, Wustergem, they had a great win again. Anker had a good win. DHS had a brilliant win against Michael House. Uh, Marinsky also had a good win. I see Marinsky and... Um, and Charlie's, Charlie Hofmeyer is, is almost now in the top 100. And then, yeah, Central didn't play this weekend, but they had their points before that, so they're in the top five. And then what I did, I took the top 50 schools mm. and did that exercise again yeah. to see how it works. So the anchor is there first, second it's DHS, and not surprisingly, Office is currently third on that lock of the schools improving the position the most. Then it's Monas, also surprisingly, but after they win against Greg uh, Gaffontein, they did quite well. And yeah, Noord Jewel, that's also improving quite a lot. So that's your top five schools in the top 50 growing on the uh, points. Well, they are the most improving. So that's also another handy way to look at for the coaches and the supporters about is a school actually improving or not. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to go? Yeah, so now um, just going from uh, currently Great College is number one uh, ranked, Paul Gim number two, um, Paul Boyzai 
number three. They are lucky to be at number three. Um, <laughs> yeah, if the margin was a bit uh, higher between them and Great College, they would have gone down to number four. Yeah, yeah. having lost to Great College uh, on Saturday, uh, Afi is uh, steadily building on their improvement uh, this season. Uh, they at number four. Uh, Paul Ruiz, Jim at uh, number five. Uh, Monas at six after the very good uh, win over Garsfontein. Uh, Otaniqua, uh, well done Otaniqua, number seven. Yeah, they outplayed Brandbach by 66 mm. points to zero. I yeah. mean, that was absolutely... So, so they've moved up to number seven with two positions. Garsfontein uh, moved down position, two positions to, to number eight. Uh, and then Bishops also uh, lost the position because of uh, the ranking. The ranking that they lost because they played Strunt, yeah. yeah. There's the old prime example. And then 10 Oakdale, also a good victory over the weekend. Yeah, they had a good win against Stellenberg. Ne? Yeah, yeah. Tight, close game, but well done, Oakdale. Hilton College uh, at number 11. Um, and then Selborne College at number 12. And uh, Rondebosch at number 13. Uh, Kez at uh, number 14. No movement for them, although they lost against Avis, um, but it's also an example of the ranking system, how it works. Fifteenth position is Weinberg, they've increased two positions up. Uh, Glenwood also climbed two positions up to number 16. Gray High School climbed three positions uh, to number 17. Framesby, uh, four positions to number 18. Westville uh, also um, Unfortunately, they, they lost four positions uh, to, and they um, dropped out to number 19. And then at position number 20, Stellenberg. Uh, so Stellenberg lost, lost to Oakdale, quite, yeah. yeah. yeah so, they are so, so Stellenberg is going to start experiencing problems because firstly, they play against very strong teams and their ranking allows them to lose against those or lose points against the, 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 those teams and the other teams that they're going to play in the Premier B won't allow them to make any points so yeah they'll end up 20 to 22nd unfortunately for them yeah and then we look at the top 50 who's the new guys in the top 50 um, Who's that guy? Durbanville. No, they're not. Transvalia. Transvalia has moved up five positions. So they're the new guys in the top 50. Them and the Anker has also moved up three positions. And then out of the top 50 goes St. Stithians and Parktown. Parktown lost to oh. St. John's. Mm. Yeah. Okay, then the top 100. Let's have a look there. Potchum stays at number 100, up nine positions is Pioneer, mm. they had a good win, and Florida also had a good win with Higenote, and yeah, Higenote dropping out of the top 100, we see Marenski is at 103. Mm. So yeah, so that's the rankings, I hope we covered the, the whole thing about the unbeaten teams, currently there's 13, no 12, unbeaten teams still in South yeah. Africa, so... I don't think we want the other 10, 11 schools that's still unbeaten in the top 10. That would just be a farce. But again, you know, the fact that you're unbeaten doesn't mean that you, you belong in the top 10. You need to be unbeaten against the top competition. So, yeah, anyway. Again, lots of movement this weekend. Again, it's just a system. It's a topic of, of sometimes heated conversation and remarks. Uh, but uh, it's, it's fun uh, to, to track the schools. And uh, it's also very interesting. So, yeah. And it's going to change again this coming weekend. And I must add, there was comments about the mother from Paul Gim that phoned me. The people blamed me because I mentioned the mother of Paul Gim. Um, we now speak every week once or twice. She does understand how the system works. Um, but she felt now that we must take into account the injured player also, because then Paul Gim would still be at number one. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, it's not that uh, that easy. Um, the team that plays the day is the team that make yeah, that's, the results. That's your, yeah, and I must also say to this mother of Paul Gim, her language has improved one <laughs> million percent. Anyway. Anyway, good stuff. Yeah, looking forward uh, to having this conversation again uh, next, week. Yeah, yeah. next week after the next week's uh, rugby. Oh, 100%. Great Cheers. stuff. Thanks a lot.